K-pop fans, Jenny Kim stands after months of waiting and only seeing her modeling for big brands and efforts <laughs> to teases on her Insta. She has finally dropped a new single, Mantra. It's been about 16 months since her last solo music, You and Me. I love you and me. Hi, my name's Duffy and it's a big day for Jenny Stans as their idol were back in the studio. So let's give her a listen to see whether it's gonna be mid or is it gonna be good. Looking at the thumbnail, I can tell it's gonna be a mantra autumn after Brad Summer. So we're starting off with a busy highway, traffic jam even. No wonder she was beeping on one of her teasers on Insta. Pretty girls are driven. Wait, is that reference from uh, the movie, you know? The Rush Hour girl singing Maria Carey's fantasy in the car. To be fair, the outfit reminds me so much of a solo pass. Because the dress made her or she made the dress look elegant. Yeah, she's definitely a cat transformed into a woman. Me with the drama. Drama. Like uh, my close -up pajama. Whoa! She gave off a completely different vibe when she's blonde. Like, she's a complete different person? I, I don't know. From the cold plunge. Uh, daytime ready use of my own. Quick switch. We love a woman who can bring out a whole new aesthetic with slight physical adjustments. Wow, I didn't know orange and yellow would suit her that well. So far, the song is space heavy and quite catchy. Also, the color usage of the scenes are so aesthetically pleasing. Are they hinting or trying to introduce the full blonde Jenny era to the world? I don't know. Do you prefer dark hair Jenny or blonde hair Jenny? Comment down below. I'm curious about your thoughts. Inside glow, we like the sun. You're gonna feel this every day. Now this, this is a nice build up to the verse. I love how the build up just hypes you up. Like glow, we like the signs. And then just her voice. You're gonna feel this every day. Then clap. Fast. This that pretty girl mantra, this that flaunt, you just touched down an hour. Simple, yet powerful. From edging you for a bit and then releasing you. Pause. Hey yo, what the f you girls don't do drama unless we won. It'll be depending on the day. I need her closet right now. Oh, I need Jenny's clothes. I need her closet. Bro, I love how bassy and memorable the first is. I think this song is going to be stuck in my head for days. Like, I am a fan of these, like, bass-heavy things, no matter uh the real bass or it's made of, like, what? I don't know, on a computer. Overall, I do love something that is, you know... Bass heavy. Bass, 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 bass. Whoa, calm down! There's people fainting and drooling right now. Calm down. Look, I get it. Fashion is fashion. But the color pairings of this outfit, okay, maybe it's artistic and I'm bad at color pairing. So, uh, you go, girl. Slay. To be honest, I prefer dark hair Jenny more than blonde hair Jenny. Because dark hair just kind of suits her vibe more. Her um, mysterious, batty cat vibes. And also the fringes can make your eyes focus on her features more. I'm getting tingles from this part. Ugh. Nah, this song in MV is completely, utterly different from You and Me and her collab with Seiko. It's giving fun baddie vibes paired with top tier aesthetics. Loving the backing track, it adds the flavors. I think this look is my number one favorite look from the MV. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. That laugh just sent chills down my spine. Nah. 
Quit playing like that, Jenny. Ooh, I'm giggling, kicking my feet. Ooh. Wait, there's more before the end. This is very, completely, utterly, super duperly different from the 2023 era Jenny. It's like, whoa, a whole new person just born out of her. Whoa. I don't know whatever era she calls it or her fans calls it, but I am totally here for it. Overall, it's completely different than what I expected. Maybe because I'm used to her Korean music era. Apologies if I word that out weirdly. Because like the last time I saw her, she was still in her like former K-pop group Blackpink. And then I shifted towards like, you know, heavier music stuff. And right now when I see her in her Seoul career, I was like, whoa, whoa, like all those um, gosh, this is gonna sound so weird out of context, but I really can't word it in the other way. Her Korean musicness just kind of fling out the window, and this is like a whole new era of her. Also, cause like the song is so Western-like, from the full English lyrics, the bassy tunes, the build-ups, and the catchy rapping and singing part. I swear, if my previous thoughts got taken out of the context, people are gonna think I'm racist or something. Oh my god! But 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 it gives off the baddie or the experimental pop music vibes. Oh no! I mean, arguably, you can say that it has some noise elements in it, along with how each scene has its own uniqueness and its whole different vibes. If a closing shot plays this, my whole bank account will shiver their timbers. Like this song makes me want to wear mini skirts, crop tops, boots, or everything leather made. And here's what the comments think. No way, even YouTube commented on this. No absolute way. Pretty girls don't do drama unless they wanna, it will be depending on the day. Eight. No, I'ma defend her. She be defending all women. We stand the right person. Oh, so this song is like a girl's anthem. Apologies because English is not my first language and also this is my first listen of the song. So maybe after this video, I will go look at the lyrics. Many were saying she slayed, surf, and ate. She's the it girl and this is the pretty girls or girls girl anthem. And here's what the billboard and other media thinks along with even more teasings on the upcoming plans as a solo artist ever since she left her past company while YG Entertainment. Jenny has created the ultimate anthem for pretty girls all over the world. This what pretty girl mantra, this that flaunt cha, just touched down in LA. She sings in the anthemic dance ready chorus. I have to admit, what is mantra? And a bit of her solo career recap, but this is the start of the show. She announced in December that she is launching a new label and company called OA. Hi, this is Jenny. This year was filled with many accomplishments and I'm so thankful for all all the love I've received, she wrote on her Instagram story. I'm also about what's to come as I start my solo journey in 2024 with a company that I've established called OA. Please show lots of love for my new start with OA and of course Blackpink. Thank you. Soon, not only Lisa will have her own company loud, but also Jenny. Who knows, maybe in the future, all four of them will have their own companies. Given that Rose is debuting her new album in December and hopefully Jisoo will have more of her solo music or even debuting new EP singles albums in the future. Aren't to Stereo Gum's article. Jenny's new single, Mantra, is fully English language and it feels like her take on the messy, bratty pop that's been such a potent force this year. Oh, so we can call this bratty pop. Hmm, a new music genre, how cool. Mantra is a big, bright pop song with a digital disco bass line and dead pun half rapped lyrics about being pretty. Oh, disco bass line, no wonder it sounds funky and catchy. Fun Tanu Mono directed Mantra's video was shot in LA and involves a whole lot of choreography and miss burning cars. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of cars in the MV. Done from the highway to the end. Cars, trucks, vehicles everywhere. This song is whatever, but these retro car choices and authentic LA locations are A+. <laughs> Lima! No way, no way, they just call the song is whatever. This is such IG caption music, but the production is great. What the heck is IG caption music? But Folk has a lot to say about her. Seven thoughts about the MV. Wow, they completely went philosophical on this one. So it starts off with lots of recapping on her solo career. So feel free to pause to read. Jenny's solo era has arrived in the form of mantra and is maddeningly sweet. So what's the searchiest? 
it girl gonna do? Are we making up new languages right now? Come up with a whole pretty girl mantra, of course. And boy, has the internet been quick to lap it all up. Fast forward to the afterglow, and here are all the thoughts I had about Jenny's mantra and V. So thought one talks about the reference, and yes! I love how that we all get the reference. Glad we're on the same page. From the number sleek rides, the way she threw her backside. Right outside the Peterson Automotive Museum, I am fairly certain Jenny's got a thing for cars. Bro tried to slip in a few words mentioning her backside while talking about cars. No way, bro is not as sneaky as they thought. The second thought talks about the second scene where she's full blonde with the inflatable pool scene and the yellow car. She knew exactly what she was doing with that pool scene. She absolutely does. I can tell some of you were drooling or tweaking or even going mental behind the screens when you saw that. The sun kiss glow scene. With Jenny's unbashed confidence and hyperfem lyrics, this is a song by the girls for the girls. Not only are her crew of writers all female, whoa, she also worked with Tana Marino, a rising female director. Now this is such a lovely fact, I will inject it into my blood vein and stamp it on my brain. Apparently, Jenny threw a bit of shade with these lines. It's not that deep, I'm not that drunk. Sometimes, girls just gotta have fun. Hey yo, is that a, is that a reference from this song? <laughs> Just a little side remark at anyone who's ever caught her out for simply having a good time. <clears throat> Korean media who was criticizing her every move for the past years. <clears throat> Fifth thought talks about her outfit, an example being, I'll need to wax Lurko about that tee and swim shorts look. Head to those crimson knee-high boots, Jenny feels unstoppable as she whispers those sweet nothings and drops it down in that stunner of an outfit. Whoa, they went Shakespeare lover when wearing her outfits. She was clearly having a hellishly good time whilst preparing for this drop. Maybe it's the way she got to fly out on the wheels of a co colossal truck and hence innocent that she's well aware she can make a girl swing both ways. Yeah, that girl being me. Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. We're getting a bit too deep with this one, I fear. That's really the only pretty girl mantra Jenny's saying we need right now. And the girls who get it, get it. I am digesting it? But yeah, I, I understand after Brad Summer. But this last thought was the cherry on top of this article. And after the release of the MV and the intro reference, many people came flooded to that Rush Hour video seeing they're here after Jenny. <laughs> My thoughts are that the MV certainly gave us the many sides of Jenny Kim, showing that she truly has the modeling Aurora. So the model Aurora is that not only you have to have the goddess face car, but also being able to adapt many styles and show them off. She can look completely different when she's full blonde or with full fringe, giving us a whole new vibe of her look. From the bassy lines and the first, the chorus, everything is like very catchy, very funky, bass heavy, yet also gives off like, you know, a bit of 2000s vibes. Wait, we're not finished yet. We're gonna mention her voice for a bit. And her voice is like seductively a bit low. And I think that is that is really hard of her actually. <laughs> that is Mm. The fact that she can sang that deep or rap that deep but also brings off that woman vibes, like the real woman, the what powerful woman like overall seductive shmekshi so yeah i'm very happy that she's now an independent artist she has her own business her own career and even own company soon and most importantly she's no longer changed by a past company tldr she absolutely served a seven star michelin with this so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video comment down your thoughts on her new music and new mv is it too boring is it too much or is it good let me know and don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye Bye.